Hi, my name is Vishal Ring. In this video, I would like to talk about uh, the parameterization and the NURBS components. Uh, right now in the scene, I've got NURBS geometry, one is sphere and a plane. And I have a curve. So let's start with the curve. This curve is created using NURBS CV curve tool. And if I right click on this curve, you have a component called curve point component. I just click on the component on the curve and you see there is a point and if I ask where is this point located on the curve so I would say this is located at so and so units uh, which is uh, basically starting from the starting and ending at the end point of the curve so what is that value to see the value I will open the script editor and then in script editor I'm holding control and I'm scrolling the wheel to make the text look bigger and you see there is something called U and brackets have got the number and this number is the U value which is the parameter of the curve parameter of the curve is measured in U value so this U value is basically starting from the starting point of the curve and the starting value could be 0 and the ending point would be 5 so you can select the curve point and then just open the script editor and you see the u value is uh, 5 here I just click here it is 1.4 click there it is 2.5 3.4 4.3 4.8 and 5 so this numeric value is the uh, u value or the parameter of the curve and we call this as parameterization very similarly we have the NURBS geometry we have this NURBS geometry I select this NURBS geometry and I go to the display NURBS and enable this option called surface origins and what do you see here is a blue line a red line and a green line and if you see the blue line is representing the normal and uh, on which side we have the blue line that is the front face and the opposite one is the back face so if you put a texture it will be seen correctly here and we see the mirrored one on this side now this place where the three lines intersecting is the zeroth point and one side we have the u and another side we have v direction if you press 4 and you could see there is u there is v text here and if I right click and then choose a component called surface point component and then click and uh, locate a point now this point will have two values again it is the parameterization of the curve these two values will be u and v values so the first value is the u value which is 0.22 and the second value is 0.16 if I just sel select the curve point component and go to the corner the values are 0 0 and if I select this corner okay generally this is the u direction and that's the v direction so if I go to this corner u value will have the highest number and if I go here u and v value will be the highest number and here we have opposite the v is u is 0 and v is 1 because here this is 0 this is the highest value it can be any number 0 to 1 or 0 to 2 or any other integer here also we have 0 to 1 or 0 to highest value so this is the 0th point on the surface so if I just click anywhere that point is located on the surface and the points values are 5.9 and 
very luckily it is um, same number but here you got a different number I'm surprised that I've precisely brought same numbers with this okay so if I select a model and open the attribute editor in the shape node we have a minimum maximum range in U which is between 0 to 1 and minimum maximum range in V which is 0 to 1 so that represents the uh, value range uh, we can't edit them it is uh, only we can read them and then try to understand the model now here the range is between 0 to 5 anytime if you want to modify or alter these values you go to the rebuild tool we have rebuild for curve and we have rebuild for uh, surface so I'm just opening the rebuild and here if you see we can rebuild several things like spans degree um, and parameter so I'm saying uh, keep the CVs or keep the number of spans I say don't touch that area and we have parameter range which is 0 to 1 so when I apply it will turn to 0 to 1 how it is earlier is 0 to 5 which is equal number to the number of spans which is this option 0 to number of spans if I put keep it will not alter this parameter there so if I just keep it to 0 to 1 and then you see the curve is reconstructed or rebuilt with a parameter value of 0 to 1 if I put a 0 to number of spans then it will go to 0 to 5 so I can alter these values with the rebuild tool and very similarly we can do the rebuild uh, from the rebuild surfaces tool here and here we can generally put 10 spans 10 spans and then choose a rebuild parameter range to 0 to number of spans and then the model is reconstructed with 10 spans in U 10 spans in V and then the parameter ranging between 0 to 10 and 0 to 10 so parameter helps uh, in a lot of ways when you do motion path animation on the curve or you do the particle uh, simulation on the surface these values really help us and uh, sometimes when we use certain tools there is a discussion about this parameterization which we will be discussing in uh, further tools Uh, we have a nerve uh, sphere and this nerve sphere has got some um, uh, segments or spans here how many spans this uh, sphere has you can check uh, in the span section of the attribute editor we have 4 spans in U and 8 spans in V you can go to the display nerves and enable surface origins and you can see a green uh, uh, sorry a blue sorry a red line running from one point to another point and there's a blue line here which is uh, the normal and this is where the uh, surface starts and then you know progresses there and uh, green line is not visible because the uh, last point is almost zero but I can guess this is uh, V direction of the surface so if you see the V direction is in the axis and the number of spans is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and if you see this way 1, 2, 3, 4 spans ok now if I just right click here we have uh, several components here uh, the first component uh, is isoperm isoperm is uh, I can't really uh, transform this component with the transform tools here uh, because the tool is not uh, getting enabled I can click and drag it and locate it anywhere but normal clicking will not help I need to click any edge and then drag it from there if I have multiple isoperms I can click and drag by holding shift and then do isoperms uh, 
there. So what happens if I've got isoperms here? Maybe I can go and use this tool called insert isoperms. So I get lines uh, from there. Or maybe I can select the isoperm and I can use a tool called detach. So we have uh, different things here. Okay. Now we have control vertex. A control vertex is uh, a vertex point which you may not uh, able to select. Uh, sorry, uh, a control vertex will not be on the surface. It will be on the hull. Uh, hull is a cage um, which is uh, basically used to select a loop of vertices. Uh, for that, if I just click a particular hull, okay, just click that hull and I've selected all the vertex points and I can move the total uh, line of vertex points or loop of vertex points which, has, which are in either axis or uh, in the total length of the curve. So if I basically select um, them, it will be very easy in the form of hull. Uh, whereas if I am in the control vertex, if uh, I have to select, I am not pretty sure uh, what points I have selected because there are so many points in air, mid-air. They are not on the surface. So if I have to select one or two, then it should be perfectly okay. But if I have to select a, a loop of lines, then hull should be a better choice. We have a surface patch, which is basically a a total uh, face of a particular span which you can select uh, you can hold uh, shift and select multiple uh, surface patches here and then uh, you can't really transform them with the transform tools uh, but you can always use uh, certain tools like duplicate a nerves patch and then and the patches are duplicated so these tools are used uh, for certain things and we have the surface point again uh, which is used to edit certain things uh, we have certain tools for that again it is a non-transformable uh, component um, we have uh, a surface UV which is again the UV uh, which is related to uh, texturing UV unwrapping um, but this UV uh, of the NURBS models are logged actually you see they are in uh, grey color these lines uh, if I just go to UV uh, edit mode and then select the UVs unfortunately it's not selecting so you can basically edit them but uh, NURBS uh, geometry will have predefined UVs so that's the reason we don't uh, we can't really edit the UVs but that UV placement will help me in controlling the texture of the model so if you are in a uh, component mode you need to exit that by choosing object mode on the surface okay we have a lot of tools uh, which may uh, ask you any of the component selection and then we need to basically apply the tools there so that's how this uh, components basically come into help